hence it took us almost 2 years to raise our seed round wow had to speak to 650 investors my god <laughs> had to do 650 pitches uh to raise half a million oh my so, god so uh, but 2016 great. 17 18 18 started this company to sort of help a lot of uh, um, people who found AI fascinating but didn't understand what AI is wow, okay. and we wanted to kind of enable and democratize. I'll tell you the moment you tie everything hmm. with one KPI hmm. you can make any complicated subject very simple. The four or five questions that you have. Four finished. questions and filled it as a KPI. That's it. Uh, I mean, there's one example that is just spread across many uh, fin influencers, and mm. uh, uh, that's what it's called, right? Yeah, uh, that's a coin term, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> so the point is, if you, as a business, if I have to tell you what is most important, and when I say business, uh, I'm talking about where physical goods are exchanging hands. Mm. वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ ड्राइविंग स्टार्टअप आपने अक्सर बिजनेस को ये बोलते सुना होगा कि मेरे मैंने बहुत माल रख लिया है या मेरा माल निकल नहीं रहा है राइट टुडे वी हैव राहुल फ्रॉम क्रेस्ट हु इज़ हेल्पिंग एस अंडरस्टैंड कि आपको अपनी दुकान में या अपने बिजनेस में कितना माल रखना है कहाँ रखना है कैसे रखना है और कब रखना है राइट right? इन सारे सवालों के जवाब हम इस पॉडकास्ट में जानेंगे सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट हाई राहुल हाई यू हाई पंकज आज सैटरडे मॉर्निंग को हमने we just taken your weekend to sort of do this with you founders ka koi weekend nahi hota yaar founders ka koi weekend nahi hota and i get it entrepreneurship ka occupational hazard hai usko bol sakte hain i saw a couple of your guys also came in uh, yeah, working yeah. so both the like founders a, are here yeah acha so is it a very uh, normal work no no i, I mean it's just have? us founders who come here hmm. on saturdays uh that's it i mean we for our team actually we follow something a little more radical hmm. So interestingly, we have a policy of four-day work week with a catch. Wow. Uh, the catch is uh, that the team has to be in office before 8:30 a.m. and okay. uh, they can leave by 5:00, 5:30. That's completely okay. Normal uh, eight Workers, hours, huh? eight and a half hour, whatever it is, right? You don't have to kind of compensate hmm. for it with a longer hour, but you just have to be before 8:30, hmm. right? So if you are, if you are even a, let's say a minute, two minute late, then you don't count that you huh? don't you are your four week, four weeks gone you, you go into a normal five, five day week. basically so what has happened is uh usually startups start by 11:30 12 ish and uh, and teams by work yeah. by 9 10 11 right uh with absolutely zero personal life and nothing right <laughs> which kind of tires you a lot in our case i wanted to make sure that this is something that doesn't happen like people have life outside office as well like they have uh, they can pursue things they have they can go out do a lot of things outside and we made sure that if you have follow this thing uh, you'll be able to kind of go back home even before the sun sets so you can you'll have enough time to kind of wind down chill and then come go out again right? I think I'll take this deal I, I really don't have a problem you have no I idea like <laughs> people all of pretty much everyone took this deal yeah. right uh, people might think that in four days the productivity would have come down or anything like that. But what do you think? Does it go up? No, it actually went up. Oh, wow. It went up. People were able to kind of finish their work uh, before lunch, actually. Right? So whatever they would do earlier, uh, by 6, 7, they were pretty much completing it by 2, 2.30 itself. Oh very interesting. Do you? I'm sure a lot of staff obviously sits out back from office itself, but do you have a remote working people so, as well? Um, Pretty much the entire team works out of uh, uh, Bangalore only Achha. and uh, that's something that we try and kind of get people together but uh, we also have a flexible this thing. So that is exactly so we so sort of have a flexible this thing. Kya, applicable to ghar pe kaam kar yeah, yeah. So unke liye deal to khair. They can just work whenever they want it to be. Okay. Right? So unke liye deal hai. Uh. Four day wala wahan pe it, it just Achha. doesn't work out itself Achha. basically. So that's where here it kind of gets you into that discipline and you kind of start taking uh, work is fun. Work mm. is also dis should be disciplined as well. Only then when can you you get that kind of an impact? Wow. I mean, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, three days off. Hai, exactly. Subah, sare, eight baje. I think I can take it. This it's, 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 <laughs> it works for me. I'm, I'm. I mean, as a founder, I don't know. Uh, end of the day, as you said, you always works. Hamara koi Saturday, Sunday nahi hota hai. But you, hota. you. But as a as a culture building exercise, I think. 
uh, I mean it's more healthier people. that way uh, especially when it comes to mental health hmm. right uh, when you have enough let's say uh, men- mind space you kind of wind down and then explore things it not just kind of helps you relax it also helps you get more creative right be more creative while you are absorbing newer and newer experiences because you have more time to kind of do it those experiences help you in approaching your work from let's say different perspectives wow right wow. so that kind of improves your work and you can you kind of get newer ideas as well so morning thinkers i think would would obviously be the best i mean i'll right tell you hmm. the engineering team the entirety of it they they all are the late nighters but why people kind of put in that effort because they know that they're getting one day off so they'll sort of compensate Nein, motivation for that motivation to bahut bada hai sleep. i think it is so i thought yeah. i'll i'll give something if you are kind of giving me max that was a bargain basically mm. and this literally just started because i come early right and couple of our teammates uh, kind of come early uh, but i was like he uh, i just randomly threw this out in the open if this is the deal would there be any takers mm. uh, started with uh, two mm. and uh, ended up being followed by a good chunk of people actually wow. what's the staff size do we have right now 32 32 uh, sitting all out yeah, yeah. The, you have a beautiful setup for sure i think uh, me gurman <laughs> thank you so much it. thank so you so much that's that's mostly and it is i think it's completely vibes with the whole uh, you know uh, startup culture that you're trying to build and i've always been a fan of uh, open spaces and uh, you know uh, setup and thank spaces. you so much okay uh क्रेस्ट के बारे में हमारी ऑब्वियसली वी वी हैव डिस्कस क्रेस्ट इन लेंथ इवन बिफोर वी स्टार्ट टू डू दिस व्हाट हैज चेंज इन द लास्ट वन ईयर ऑफ यू एंड आई हैव डिस्कस्ड क्रेस्ट एंड आई आई रिमेंबर दैट एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम यू आर गोइंग फॉर दैट मिलियन डॉलर राउंड दैट यू आर डूइंग कंग्रेचुलेशन यू डिड दैट आल्सो ऑलमोस्ट क्लोज दैट राउंड एज वेल द यूज केसेस द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इट्स अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग बिकॉज थोड़ा सा बैकग्राउंड में माई माई आई हैव अ बिजनेस विच डज रिवॉल्व अराउंड सप्लाई चेन डज रिवॉल्व अराउंड इन्वेंट्री कीपिंग डज रिवॉल्व अराउंड सो प्रॉब्लम मुझे बहुत स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड समझ में आ गई आई मे बी नहीं देर इज देर इज अजनेस दैट वी हैव अ बिग इंटरवेंशन ऑफ दिस दिस पार्ट एंड स्पेशली आई वर्क ऑन अ इन्वेंट्री होल्डिंग वेर वेर आई हैव टू रियली talk to couple of importers to sort of keep that and it's also sometime very pick and choose but take okay, that that's a side today crest is solving a very fundamental problem in the whole supply chain ecosystem mm. right why don't you give me a background where exactly it actually originated like dhanda to kar hi rahe the log overall tarike yeah, se so what i'll tell you it? so uh, if you look at uh, uh, businesses right especially the ones who are in the business of exchanging goods right right where goods are exchanging hands right wahan right. pe you have to kind of understand that you for a transaction to happen you need to have inventory with you you need to have some goods with you now be it a kirana store be it a multinational like you know unilever yeah. be it a trader who is let's say importing from china right anyone for that matter right uh, or a manufacturer uh, sitting in india now for it to really happen uh, you really need to kind of uh, understand that every business uh, uh, man woman will have this question ki main kitna rakhu kitna maal rakhna hai mujhe kitna rakhna hai mujhe right bikega nahi bikega exactly kyunki aapke paas i mean you would always have a let's say a limitation on how much capital you have right now of course then the pani bhi chalana hai aapko apna right you have to kind of it's earn, a big function of a bread, working capital bread at the end of the day exactly so uh, working capital your capex that you put in right at the end your entire this thing is i have a target of earning right earning let's say x amount by the end of the month for it i i just work backwards right what is the margin that i have on goods and this is how much i need to kind of have in inventory and this is how much i'll be investing in it mm. right for getting that inventory basically mm. right now if you are doing one uh, product that you sell absolutely no problem uh, of course uh, it can be it can go by 10 20% 50% if it's b2b even that that also isn't there because you know uh, what is uh, you have a side of your demand, exactly yeah. so if you have one product you're working with one customer it's very plain vanilla your demand is pretty much right there you know how much going to get but the moment your products start growing 
the moment your customers starts growing right uh, and what i mean by that is if you are working with smaller businesses if you are working with direct end consumers it's, it's customers itself right uh, and you start working with let's say <clears throat> from 1 to 10 10 to 100 100 to 1000 1000 to 10000 is when the total number of permutation and combination now starts hitting upwards of a million a billion right how do you do it right kitna rakhna hai mal so wo jo you still have a target demand ka match hai wo exactly you still have a target hai. that this is what i need to earn at the end of the month right this is what my margins are hmm. right but now this margin is going to now come from a mix of let's say certain sk products and certain let's say customers right and this is one reason where when we started kind of looking at it so again I come from this background right worked in supply chain uh, covid may uh, a lot of businesses chote businesses uh, were shutting down were r- running into struggles kyunki again your uh, uh, i mean land locked the uh, you couldn't go out and sell anything and blah blah blah, blah right yeah. and you are sitting on let's say 90 days of inventory you're sitting on let's say let's say inventory worth crores basically right kya karoge Right? Faced so it. I know. <laughs> so that's where we sort of started seeing these things, and it's a sort of. I, I mean, my heart really went out for those, let's say, businesses, जहाँ पे माल रखा हुआ है, पैसा अटका हुआ है, मैं कैसे क्या करूँ, right? And we started diving deeper into it. कि why is it happening, right? These are these guys are savvy business this business businessmen, right? Why is it uh, happening that even though they've been working in this for let's say 20 30 40 years right they still sort of struggle with this thing they have been managing it on their sixth sense ki ha mujhe pata hai mera january ke mahine mein ek zyada bikta hai february mein kam milta hai whatever they have been i'm sure they don't they just know their business that's why they are able to make those decisions absolutely correct but absolutely correct that is exactly how what we start seeing ki aap gut pe kaam kar rahe ho bahut zyada the moment you are working on gut And there is a choke point in the company itself, in the business itself. Obviously, you have not you have not accounted any uh, you know anything wrong going in the in the exactly. space. Exactly. So there is a choke point in the speed. business, and that choke point is uh, the person who is taking that uh, the, taking these calls. How much to work? And there is no science behind it. Okay. It is purely be, being done on guts. Right? What is it happening right now? Right? And इसीलिए इसको gamble भी बोल देते हैं business is gamble as well. Right? It's not a gamble, no. at the end it's it's a science you do certain things and you achieve a certain outcome right i think fundamentally bahut badi problem hai retailer ke paas mal rehna barabar hai lekin aaj ke time pe when uh, people actually have decided to move away from inventory led businesses hmm. i mean like, you can't i'll tell I mean, you you can't i you get can't it. because uh. india mein i'll tell you india ki problem kitni badi hai india alone has a problem of 200 billion dollars that is locked in inventory related let's say issue uh, capital inventory related issues india ka across chan- categories you would yeah across categories 200 billion dollar and this is also again by far pessimistic measures that i'm going to put in here right 200 billion dollar ki inventory aap pe baithe pura india baitha if you unlock that and india is going to turn it around like anything see dhande mein na ek bahut common cheez hai jo something that uh, when i so i really love uh walking on st- uh, streets of new york city is talking to businesses right and uh, just understanding and getting their story why is it that they're doing and what is it that really makes it tick right and everywhere that i found is especially dhanda banane ke liye na you have to have the faster you turn your inventory the f- faster you grow and the higher you earn hmm. right bahut basic rotational science. business hai i get bahut basic sa yeah. difference hai yeah. aap स्टार्ट कर रहे हो तीन करोड़ पे इफ यू स्टार्ट विद थ्री करोड़ लेट्स से वर्थ ऑफ इन्वेंट्री एंड यू आर टर्निंग इट अराउंड टू वंस अ यो टन दस परसेंट का मार्जिन है हाउ मच आर यू अर्निंग थर्टी लैक्स और आप स्टार्ट करो फिफ्टी लैक्स पे राइट एंड यू आर टर्निंग इट अराउंड लेट्स से एवरी क्वार्टर राइट तो देन नाउ यू आर अर्निंग ट्वेंटी लैक्स ऑन ऑन अ फार लेसर नंबर बेसिकली माई पॉइंट इज दैट राइट सो सो यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट दैट If problem to bahut badi hai i mean business says uh-huh. why they are growing uh, on how they are growing for example uh, i mean there is one example that is just spread across many uh, fin fin influencers and hmm. uh, uh, that's what is called right yeah uh, that's a coin term but okay yeah. <laughs> 
so uh, many uh, of, of these uh, youtubers and instagram uh, uh, gyanis uh, asian paint case study is something that is out there in open that how uh, asian paint is so efficient that it is, it is able to kind of uh, it is able to work on just 5 day worth of inventory mm. right uh, that they get their money back within 5 days itself mm. Mm. Uh, that scale they work directly with the stores and uh, how do you do it they replenish each store uh, thrice inventory. in a day yeah. twice in a day how do you do it so the point is if you as a business if i have to tell you what is most important and when i say business uh, i'm talking about where physical goods are exchanging hands mm. Mm. more than the margins it is the turn how quickly you are turning your inventory hmm. that matters most ha agar trading dekh lo inventory management anything. dekh lo rotational anything. mein hi aap hamesha paisa kamao ki kitni jaldi anything haan. aapka margin bhale like aap services mein hi bolunga main ki aap kitni anything. jaldi aap rotate kar do exactly. projects anything. ya services ke liye absolutely aap. correct kyunki aapka margin bhai rehne wala hai hmm. aapko customer 10% 20% super margin nahi dega hmm. so if, if your margins are going to stay that there, there right you want to make sure that you are able to kind of get the maximum throughput from the same let's say uh, capital that you have now that capital can be deployed uh, in either let's say people do- doing services or in inventory which is being sold directly and the faster you recover the faster, faster you can put in i think re- revenue realize kar dena company mein is something that people underestimate it exactly uh, so and fas fas ke. the moment you s- you kind of get this difference ki margin zyada important turn hota hai hmm. right you sort of start getting an understanding ki yaar how do i now accelerate this thing and this is what i mean you see legendary businesses in india or anywhere across the across the globe right this is exactly why for example you have these iconic companies that are existing today they It, have fundamentally figured out uh, how everything to just bottoms to just this one right a lot I, of, I, right so and, and how do you do it right how so do you make that's where i was coming at so we established a great ground on the problem i get it ki chalo aur har direction se how does quest comes into the picture to solve this exactly so needs? so we sort of understood this thing that this is something that people are facing right businesses are facing and and 20 to 25 crore population in india relies on smes okay they're employed by smes right? so you just understand that if these guys are not earning mm. right these businesses are not earning the impact is very high you're yeah. you're hitting your per capita and you're slowing that down so the impact of growing these businesses actually helps you grow the per capita right right away itself right so now that's the impact and that is what really kind of uh, got us really sort of excited that if we help them we are going to basically put a uh, accelerate india's gdp growth itself by let's a certain percentage margin uh, business owners Absolutely and correct. the simplicities can be derived Absolutely by the product correct. like yep. that's how i would like to put it very very interesting i mean and i think yes uh, one shoe fit all kind of a thing to i'm pretty sure ho nahi sakta is is pure segment mein everybody is trying to do different set of businesses different kind of uh, workflows and inventory management that they are they're trying to do and this uh, h- how does your general conversation with uh, say an investor goes like when you have to explain them ki kya chal raha matlab wo jo aapka problem state hai wo mere ko samajh mein aa gaya ki bahut jaldi samajh mein aa jata hoga and i'm sure a lot of yeah, people yeah, problem statement is something that uh, quick to get is it, very yeah. quick to get however yeah. appreciation for the problem statement is very uh, hard that to get that also we yeah, yeah. yeah the reason But, is uh, mm-hmm. there are in uh, let's say a group of investors actually let me divide a group mm-hmm. of investors into three categories mm. right there are group of investors who were let's say sort of uh, founders uh, and operators themselves right then there are set of investors who are consultants and then there are set of investors who are ibs mm. right the first two lots get it very quickly mm. because the first person would have already faced such problems themselves they would mm. have already gone through that struggle so they they sort of have an appreciation for other businesses who are struggling with that problem is it one of the reasons why your customers are your investors and you have to i mean <laughs> i'm very very uh, 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 humbled that our customers 
uh, trust us enough that they uh, have invested in us as well right right uh, one of the one of the best scenarios for investment by the way like i think you know don't want to jinx uh, it but yeah, yeah i want more sure. of my customers to be part of our journey but yeah. yes don't want to jinx it uh uh but yes so then there are operators and and then there are consultants who would have consulted other uh, large businesses right to do such uh, mm. or solve such problems so they would have probably gone through that cycle of understanding why and where is it and how is it difficult to solve it mm. right uh for them it is easier for the late latter one we have to kind of make take them through a lot of uh, use cases mm. journeys and understanding that okay this is how we going to build your understanding around this problem because it seems very uh, uh low hanging fruit that ye to bahut common problem samne dikh rahi hai it is that yeah 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 right it is so that that it sounds very trivial actually <laughs> i think right? it's just conversation me yaar mal atka hua hai exactly like bol right bolne mein bhi dilas ko bolega the, the 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 solution for that is not so trivial right and which is where kind of the roots of it goes very deep Hmm. it's if you have to really solve it you have to really understand what are the areas and what are the uh, nodes that it really hits hmm. so that is something that uh, one gets it with either experience or with let's say uh, uh, m- various multiple sessions is right ye to investor ki baat hogi how do you sort of get the people that you are working with and i'm sure a very smart and uh, good tech team sales team ops team uh, since it's a very vast problem or one single use case can't define it how how does the understanding with when you have to actually explain it to I team to sort of exactly vision exactly in the same way Achha. see i'll tell you the moment you tie everything hmm. with one kpi hmm. you can make any complicated subject very simple the four five questions that you have four mentioned. questions and fill it as a kpi that's it You ask anyone in my I team. I think बहुत सारे D two C brand को आपके पास आके उनके K P I S set कराने चाहिए फिर success <laughs> mode set कराने चाहिए कि what exactly what exactly will actually let them be a successful D two C company or an e com company. I think that no, but actually if really anyone nice. has to really measure as well, and this is also something who sort of evaluates D two C businesses and uh, evaluates not just to uh, invest but also to start as well. One mm-hmm. thing that one keep, people should keep in mind is when you're measuring ROAS and all. right you measure roas you measure cac you measure your month on month growth right or your cohort you should also be measuring fail rate as well this is something that people don't understand so ye ek ye deck mein aur model mein to main dal raha hu for <laughs> sure <laughs> jab we are working for another d2c brand i'm sure our finance team uh, does a good job in making yeah. that happen uh, but uh, abhi to main jis bhi d2c brand ke sath main kaam karta hu na aur mujhe wo अपनी जी टी एम बताते हैं कि यू नो दिस इज द प्री फंडिंग पोस्ट फंडिंग डजेंट रियली मैटर मैं तो उनको बोलता हूँ कि अपनी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन स्ट्रैटेजी बताओ योर योर सक्सेस ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर ब्रांड वुड रियली रियली रिलाय ऑन नॉट जस्ट हाउ क्रिएटिव योर एड्स आर और हाउ क्रिएटिवली यू आर सेलिंग ऑनलाइन वो क्या कभी कम नहीं आने वाला है नहीं आएगा वो बहुत टफ है इतना आप ऐसा बर्न कर जाओगे राइट लेकिन यू कान जस्ट you can't just get it down unless you have spent like 5 6 saal ka kya ka no no it can't badha ke chalo yeah. lekin agar aapke paas ek achhi distribution strategy hai yeah. pankaj mein bangalore mein hsr mein ya in jagahon pe 400 retailers mein present rahunga chahe smaller inventory ke sath mein mm-hmm. give me a distribution strategy of give me where can you reach right at the right in front of a customer eye impulsive exactly. buying exactly. how are those are something that you really have to put together uh give me a, give me a sense on how crest is like doing today as a business like you said you have about 35 customers what's yes. the what's the cost we have of, uh, cost of running our business no the cost to the customer like what's your a- average order value for these guys or what's our, the subscription fees sure. looks like so see our average uh cost to the customer starts from as low as uh Five hundred dollars a month. Actually, not even that. Two hundred dollars a month. Right. Right. Our our cost of cost to customer starts as low as two hundred dollars a month, and goes up to say around three thousand dollars a month. Right. Okay. Okay. And let me share talk in rupees. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Starts at roughly. Ten fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand rupees. 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 Fifteen thousand r
uh, the kind of uh, if the company is just getting started with one mm. use case mm. on this thing and then the kind of channels that they are covering and what are the complexity of the everything else around it so they end up basically taking that many let's say resources uh to do it basically right so But one very interesting thing aapka retention rate customers ka to bahut high hona hoga yeah yeah uh, I matlab mean, at uh, least ek bar touch wood the customer has really uh left us to this uh, day because no it's a, it's a direct uh, it's a predict ek to sabse pehli baat it's a business critical tool right jo cheez business critical tool hai uske upar retention hamesha hi high rahega like that is not something that you can get out of ki ha panch maine istemal karke you can get out of it or growth and revenue is always a taste that people gets and they don't want to leave it so i'm assuming retention would be a really really high yes so uh, retention number for you is not a mm. this thing our actually our net revenue retention mm. is 100 upwards of uh, 120% uh, which is Perfect. already mm. something i mean early stage saas companies usually 80 90% of uh-huh. uh thank god we uh, our customers are again mm. uh, loving us they are supporting us but give me a sense of where do you see it growing in the next say 3 5 year period of time and how exactly in 3 5 period of time i would want at least 20% smes to have come out of let's say this problem of uh, stock kitna rakhna hai kya rakhna hai what what kind of a market size does it give it to you with that number to achieve uh, to be honest ye cheez na aaj ki date mein aap lagaoge so you would only want to count the digitally native brands the let's say tech enabled hmm. uh, businesses smes in india right? right which is in my opinion should not be more than 200000 such, such businesses in in india alone right but overall sme market to india ka 70 million hai yaar there are 7 crore businesses hmm. in india mein right so it's very difficult i'll tell you and and even though i know i am in this business I don't want to count it based on kitna revenue potential hai hmm. at least because that is difficult but I I can definitely count it from kitna impact banega and agar hmm. impact calculate kar sakte ho aap to you can always kind of say ki yaar itne impact ka itna percentage revenue. can be a market size right so interesting that way if you look at it right market itself I to, I given you a number initially hmm. that India uh has a uh almost 200 billion that is logged in gdp itself mm-hmm. right which is something that itself is a big number but agar aap pure sme ko leke jaoge ya pura to then that number goes upwards of uh, a trillion in trillion and a half basically right so that is the kind of impact that you'll have and i'm talking about 4 5 years down the line right jab economy let's say would be somewhere around 6 trillion or so right so abhi tak humne product ke growth mein ग्लोबल एक्सपेंशन की बात नहीं करी यू नो एंड आई एम श्योर एस एम ई ऐसा तो नहीं है कि सिर्फ इंडिया या फिर ये प्रॉब्लम फंडामेंटली इंडिया में करेंटली वर्किंग विद कपल ऑफ ग्लोबल कंपनीज एज वेल वन इज फ्रॉम यू एस एंड वन इज फ्रॉम अफ्रीका एट लीस्ट ऑर्गेनाइज रिटेलर्स वहाँ ज़्यादा मिलेंगे आपको इंडिया में तो फिर भी हाँ अफकोर्स 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 डेटा एक्चुअली मिल जाता है ड्रॉइंग पॉइंट यह है कि डेटा थोड़ा सा ज़्यादा सेम फॉर्मेट में रहता है वर्सेज वॉट यू गेट ही बट ओवरऑल मार्केट तो बहुत ज़्यादा बड़ा है मतलब अगर टू हंड्रेड थाउजेंड इंडिया में है तो ग्लोबली दैट नंबर इज थ्री एंड हाफ मिलियन और समथिंग हाउ एवर द एक्सपैंस ऑफ वॉट वी आर डूइंग इज It's not limited to software alone. Of course, right? It is not limited to software alone, and that is what we 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 are also discovering ourselves around that as well, right? Ki, agar ap inki problem solve karne ja rahe ho, hmm. ye problem actually kya apne software de diya usse problem solve ho sakta hai? Thoda sa, thoda sa nahi. Okay, right? So you can only solve it to let's say a certain extent, but software ke aage bhi bahut chiz hai. Of course, of course. Right? So, so the first foot in the door with us is the software is the software apparently is the software, you, right and um, and the what what will it take uh, from crest to become the how do i say the dependency of the product is super high yes, across the our customers touch points that we have are themselves after 2 3 months they themselves come and tell us that i would want uh, let's say so and so function to be dependent on crest now it mm. should be something that will be driven on crest now 
and when we ask them why is it that you say this thing hmm. they come and tell us two things there one is accountability badh jati hai right interesting okay second is you have a set mechanism set assembly line hmm basically ki agar dekhiye when you when you are a consumer goods company aapke you have to do uh, 100 different things in a week right and i'm talking about the teams hmm. right team have to has to do 100 different things in a week and if you miss out on let's say five of them and god forbid wo five things mein se do cheeze aise hain jisme aap order dalna bhul gaye hmm right ya aapne jo hai mal count karne mein aapne galti kar diya hmm so these are life threatening uh, 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 misses hmm right? so you would not want to kind of have life threatening uh, uh, misses जहाँ पे यू जस्ट लुकिंग एट कि ये चीज़ें आर डन टाइम टू टाइम इफ इट इज इफ समथिंग इज मिस्ड देर इज अ पोर्टल जहाँ पे यू आर एट लीस्ट गेटिंग सो विच इज़ वेयर डिपेंडेंसीज समथिंग दैट इज इंक्रीज एंड डिपेंडेंसीज मेजरली ऑन प्रोसेस अकाउंटेबिलिटी बेसिकली सेंस ऑन गुड सेंस ऑन लॉर्ड ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज एंड ऑब्वियसली यू आर building a solution for a very ground uh, level work right uh, though it's a amazing ai based tech platform right but end mein dhanda dhanda to aapko hamesha hi samajhna padega to build it all together yeah. give me a give me a sense of what were you trying to do before crest and uh, how does your background looks like in this segment? so before crest i was running this company called pet labs okay we uh, started this company to sort of help a lot of uh, uh, people who found ai fascinating but didn't understand what ai is wow okay and we wanted to kind of enable and democratize machine learning right it was so it was you were doing something on it when it was became buzzword or a cooler even before <laughs> it, it before became. that to be honest <laughs> right we were way ahead of our time right mm. and uh, uh, we did that in 2016 right and 2016 may we became the first company to have created uh, a, a, a no code ai ml tool uh, platform for basically everyone okay uh, it was a f- it was a one of a kind tool in the world hmm. uh, uske pehle nahi banaya gaya tha aisa hmm. kuch hmm. and uh, uh, yeah with that we became pioneers in automotive technology as well um and in a uh, and by de facto we were the first horizontal ai startup in the asia pacific region uh, it was considered bold hmm. and because it was bold a lot of people sort of also uh, were found it extremely risky as well hmm. right hence it took us almost 2 years to raise our seed round wow had to speak to 650 investors my god <laughs> had to do 650 pitches uh, to raise half a million Oh so uh, but extremely 2016 grateful. 17 18 18 so uh, extremely grateful to the ones who supported us hmm. um we started getting good traction hmm. many people hmm. techrunch covered us organically for hmm. that uh but a lot of traction and people were genuinely loving what we were doing Product, we created yeah. ma- many different new use cases again way hmm. ahead of its time right but we couldn't convert that into commercial success right hmm. um time was not yet right yet right people still weren't uh, uh ready to kind of understand what are the use cases that they can create to be honest right hmm and uh, one of the use cases that i used to use to uh, to sell a product hmm. was u- sales forecast sales forecasting yeah it was one of the first use cases that we had created hmm. on um Uh, on on the product that we done and and that started getting some traction hmm. i can see the relation yeah, back yeah. to cres now <laughs> yeah yeah so we basically created uh one of the first uh auto ml technology for forecasting as well hmm. right and with that we sort of became uh, pioneers in ai led demand forecasting as well uh it is after when we sort of established that there is a sale worthy proposition mm. that there is some business potential in this is when 
good chunk of major IT giants, major mm. consulting giants sort of started entering this thing. Wow. And we started working with various large MNCs, right? The right. likes of Maricos and the L'Oreal's of the world, right? How so did it end up? No, it was good. Mm. Uh, we definitely learned a lot with them. Kafi <laughs> cheese mili sikne ko. And actually, that is where we sort of picked up on uh, while working with mm. many large companies, right? So we worked with 20 plus uh, businesses over a period of four or five years, mm. right? And uh, uh, that's where we started understanding what is it that makes these guys different mm. that they do, right? Mm. How is it that they run such a complex supply chain, which has millions of touch points, mm. right? unique touch points. And uh, uh, with that appreciation for the system that they had in place is, is what sort of draw, I mean, started driving my curiosity mm. for that. And yeah, one thing led to another uh, one project after another, we started getting deeper and deeper in supply chain, mm. in analytics, right? And how do you build technology and how do you uh, do use machine learning to kind of solve a lot of these problems because this uh, industry generates a lot of data. Right. Right. So that that is what we sort of started getting it. And uh, yeah, um, uh, um, uh, we ended up reaching uh, a million plus in revenues, mm. right? But uh, uh, again, a lot mm. of that was something that was growing, but slowly, right? Mm. Enterprise, uh, big enterprise, large enterprises. Uh, I mean, to be honest, the kind of services that we used to provide then mm. uh, was uh, to, to, to the large companies was, let's say, somewhere between 50, 100K dollars, mm. right? We would do similar thing, but I'd probably... Uh, by 10, <laughs> probably by 20 today. That's <laughs> With good. the help of software. For Scale sure. to tough tha thoda fir. <laughs> mm. So how did the whole journey end then? No, so we um, sort of uh, uh, decided to kind of um, call it. Hmm. Um, and uh, we sold uh, uh, technology and we hmm. sort of um, gave, and I can't comment at publicly sure. to be sure. honest right now. No but yeah, we sort of... Uh, so you existed out of it uh, soon after it comes up, six, four, five years, and then the crest yes. happened. What were you doing before that? No, no, no. So huh. we uh, moved out of Mate Labs huh. uh, December, January last year. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah crest was and very new. Uske baad hi to yeah, yeah. Like two, two, three months of gap, and then we started crest. Interesting. And uh, similar partners, similar fund, friends, no. co-founders? So, uh, uh, both the co-founders that uh, I have, hmm. uh, they've been with me for a long time. Uh, okay. uh, Akhil, uh, who is uh, um, uh, chief growth officer, hmm. he uh, was my batchmate in NIT Bhopal. Um, from there, he went to IIT Bombay, studied... Uh, Master in design, went hmm. to Godrej after that, and then joined Mate Labs uh, after working at Godrej for five years. Hmm. Um, Yogesh was actually our uh, first intern in Mate Labs, uh, has been with us ever since, hmm. right? Uh, went from being an intern to uh, leading the entire tech team. Hmm. Uh, and of course, that kind of, these journeys kind of gives you a lot of, builds a lot of trust and respect for each other, right? right? And that is what is needed uh, to be co-founders. And that's when we sort of uh, decided to start it together. Right. What What does I should have started asking this pehle pehle, but what does Crest mean? Like, or what is the name? Okay, or the sure. So, um, uh, a demand curve or any curve for that matter has crests and troughs. Right. right? So that's the curve. Ah. Right. So Crest is basically we help you reach the top. Very interesting. Uh, so now like quick uh, rapid fire round karte hain sure. mein. You know, that'll be uh, pretty exciting. But I'm just trying to see how quickly can you answer these things. Uh, so <laughs> I'll try and keep up. <laughs> let's go with it. Uh, let's start. So what's the name of your business? Crest. And what's the one single problem that your business solve? Out of stock. What's the best or good or, or damn moment that you had so far in your business? 
when uh, uh, with one of our customer actually our, f- one of our first customer we were able to kind of automate their entire supply chain right processes uh, to actually a very great extent right? right so that was genuinely and and that kind of led to of course improvement and everything but that was when we were really sort of not just surprised but sort of uh, um, an awe moment mm. as well uh, where uh, a business sort of is trusting uh, this piece of software to run one of, one of the most critical operations so that is when yeah it was a very good moment interesting yeah. i mean first customers are always great aren't they so mm-hmm. what's the bad or oh damn moment that you had the worst one oh so far in the business okay um there has been one which i can't okay uh, talk <laughs> uh, it's actually pretty oh mm-hmm. damn one Oh yeah. Right. Okay. It sort of okay. gave me anxiety can, attack, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. The we second one after that is uh, the second one after that is actually uh, um, uh, which which happens uh, um, which happened was uh, that there were um, miss orders uh, for a, for a one of our customers that oh. the software is automated and there were bugs around that and uh, big to do with. kind of one day of business side of yeah dwindled so that uh, was second this thing right the top so most i can't even tell <laughs> what's the what's the what's the simplest business model or how do you make money if i were to ask simplest your, business model and in in your simplest revenue model or how do you make money trying to tell me that for us yeah okay Rest. uh we sell resources against uh, uh the subscription right so saas would be your yeah, yeah saas right. what kind of revenue projected revenue would you be making this year we are projecting uh, 1 million uh, by the end of this that's the arr that you're projecting that's correct right. okay okay this is perfect